gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights doing is IPv4 address of the intro in Island of Knowledge at Ty Lopez section. Uh, Alright, so this is going to be kind of a controversial video. I don't, some people may think so. And you're saying, Dylan, we're doing algorithms. How fucking controversial can it be? Well, um, some people may disagree with what I'm about to say of, do you actually need to solve this? And my answer is no. You need to how you need to know how to use regular expressions in terms of uh, what functions are work with them. In this case, we're going to use the test function, and then, but in terms of, do you actually need to sit down and define this IPv4 re regular expression? I don't think so. And the reason for it is it's not a practical learning experience, and if someone gave this to me in an interview and that. I'd be pretty pissed, to be honest with you. And so, in the real world, exactly what would happen is exactly what I did, which is, hey, Google IPv4 regular expressions, and you go and you test it out and you confirm that it works, which is exactly what I did. So, in here, do you understand what regular expressions do? If you do, great. If you don't, you should go and understand what they do. But in terms of actually sitting down and defining a stupidly long regular expression, I completely disagree with that. And so here, and uh, we'll give static, we'll give credit, credit to stack overflow as well. So uh, regex from, and we can even, oh, fuck it, I'll put the URL in there. And, um, yeah, there we go. Give credit where credit is due. Because it, in the real world, you're not going to sit down and you're not going to fucking write this IBP4. Look how complicated that shit is. And there's no reason to. Somebody already wrote it. Go and find it. Go and use it. This is, you know, there's a reason that open source and things like that exist. But this test, oh, okay, so let's talk about this. The one thing we can't talk about, because I under, at this point you should understand what return true and return false does. So this test basically takes our input string and uses this regular expression here, which is to make sure it's in an IPv4 format. Uh, sim so that means one of these, da -da -da, these are invalid, so these are example examples of valid IPv4 addresses, cool. So it tests to make sure it's one of that, and if it, it if it does pass the test, it returns true. If it doesn't, it returns false. So if it's a true statement, we're going to return true. If it's a false statement, we're going to return false. So some of you may very well disagree with me on this. I understand to a degree, but I'm not going to spend an eternity of my life doing this one. In, in how I would actually solve this in the real world, is I understand how to use tests and regular expressions. I probably couldn't write this regular expression without sitting down for about three, four hours and just kind of hacking away at it. That's the truth of the matter. And I probably learned a lot in the process, but I don't have the time to do that. So <laughs> here we are. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of saying it might be a little controversial with me put, posting this video, but this is really, uh, really what you would probably end up doing. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching the video. You probably. We, this is more of a discussion than an algorithm walkthrough today, but uh, it is what it is. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments, right? As Philip DeFranco would say, this isn't a one one person show; it's a conversation, apparently. Uh, so I'll uh, don't forget to join the Facebook group, all that good stuff. Links in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.